Thank you. I want to say that it is with excitement that I welcome everybody to this auspicious town hall meeting face of his kind under the present leadership of Speedel. What is this on about on a Monday? First and foremost, it was not easy to assemble these great minds to talk about the very essence of government, which is the provision of security and welfare for the people. The 1999 Constitution under Chapter 2, with the heading Fundamental Objectives and Directive Principle of State Policy, made elaborate provision for those things that make life worth living. Education, health, employment, security, and welfare of the citizens. These, no doubt, should be the focus and form the fulcrum for every government. As fundamental as these socioeconomic rights, as provided in the Constitution, appear on the face value. The same Constitution divests the courts of its enforcement. Typical of every government in this part of the world, they shrink from their natural responsibilities. Do we not generate light in our homes with our generators? To get water, do we not dig boreholes in our homes and offices? Do we not provide our security in our homes and offices in Nigeria? For health, do we not go to native doctors for treatment? We thank God for the herbs that are bound here in large quantity. Do we not construct our roads? And where it is impossible due to complexity, do we not buy SUVs to use? Having in mind our dilapidated roads, tell me what we do not provide for ourselves in Nigeria. But somebody has said, what we don't provide does not exist. Why are the terms of our social contract not made as we have it in other nations? The essence of this gathering, gentlemen and ladies, is to remind major stakeholders in Nigeria that time to enforce the terms of the fundamental objective and directive principle of state policy is now. Enough of rhetorics and empty promises. As we approach 2023 general election, the agenda for governance must be set and met. Nothing is fundamental about our human right in chapter four if the socioeconomic right that is provided for in chapter two are not given any proper meaning. Your life and mine are empty if there are no medical facility to preserve it. Our existence is terribly threatened if that life can be cut short at any time by a bandit, armed robber, kidnapper, or worse still, a terrorist. In all this, in this hall, are our judicial officers who owe the citizens the responsibility to interpret the constitution to manifest the intent and purpose for its existence. We have politicians here. We have lawyers. We have the civil society group. We have journalists of repute and other major stakeholders in Project Nigeria that are all here for one purpose, for emphasis. Here, they are here to redirect governance of the people in the right direction. Let every right that is a right be enforced, simple. Once again, I welcome everyone to this great event. Let the...